Hello friends, it's Nancy. And um, I have chosen the papers for my signatures. I'm even ready to start sewing my signatures in. However, I hadn't chosen the fabric that I want to use for my inside covers. So uh, I went shopping today and I actually bought two fabrics. But I had a consultation with my crafty crush and we agreed that this one was the one to go with. And this is a Robert Kaufman print from the Library of Rarities Christmas. There's three fabrics in this collection. And um, uh, the, the one is a lot of Victorian looking images. And the other one has um, like sepia toned photos and um, old mu sheet music. I really like that one too, but... I didn't see that at the store I was at, but I did see, catch this one, and I thought, yeah, this is this is good. And I'll be able to sort of situate my pattern. Like, there's a lot of color here, not so much color here. Um, I'll be able to sort of move things around a bit to suit my my taste, and I think that's gonna, I think that's just the right color of cream. But I also need to have a piece to sew my signatures to. So um, I'm just going to cut a little, little piece off the end here. So last night I did a little bit of work choosing my papers and I ended up having to hand cut some papers. As we discussed, I think we discussed, we probably discussed in uh, my last video. Um, yeah. So I did hand cut those last night off camera. And. Ooh, there's a flaw there. rats. I'll have to make sure I don't, uh, I wonder how that happened. This was a brand new bolt of cloth. Like it still had the wrapping on it when, when I bought it today. So that's kind of a disappointment. Um, Glad I wasn't making a big project with that and found that area. That would have made me cross. Uh, that'll do. I think it's time to change my blade. All right. Look, the little robin. So cute. Okay, so now I need to cut a piece of file folder. So let's start with a, a straight edge if we can. Hope everybody had a good Monday. I had a good Monday. Um, I need this to be 10 inches. You know what I was thinking today on my way home from work? I stopped at the, um, um, the pharmacy to mail a package and to grab a couple of things. And I thought, as soon as I got back out to the car, I took my mask off and I thought, you know, there was a day that once upon a time that when I was done work, I couldn't wait to get home and get my bra off. And now it's, I can't wait to get my mask off. Okay. So I'm going to start 
start by drawing in the lines where my signatures will be sewn. So I like them um, more or less a quarter inch apart. So I start with one eighth and then three eighths, five eighths, seven eighths, and one and an eighth. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five. And then I will cut at one and a quarter. But first I'm going to put in my, I'm going to make use this to make my template for poking holes. Then I think uh, do two and a half. It doesn't matter if they're exactly evenly spaced. I just kind of calculate it mentally and hope that my math isn't too bad. Okay. And now I'm going to cut this at one and a quarter inches. Just gonna cut this rounded edge off. Get it out of the way. Good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to glue this in the center. Yeah, I always have to think about it. Am I doing this right? If I got the fabric the right way? I just heard the motorcycle pull on. In, I mean, not on. Jeez. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just spreading the glue with my uh, silicone makeup brush. And gluing her down. Okay, so I'm going to have to let this dry until, um, until I poke the holes through. But in the meantime, I'm going to get my signatures pinned together and get them poked. And uh, when I come back, I should have the signatures all sewn. And I will be ready to make the inside cover. So um, I'll join you back to do that. All right. Hang tight. This is the second part of the video. That's right. Hi, Kat. So uh, in the first part of the video, I said I was going to sew my signatures and then um, put this together and do my inside pages. Well, I decided I wanted to do some more work on the pages because I wasn't completely convinced that I'm happy with the pages I chose. So, I thought, well, let's, let's just go ahead and do the, uh, Let's just go ahead and do the inside pages and finish up this video. So I'm going to start with some shopping bag, a grocery bag, a paper grocery bag. And this is how I would typically make inside page, the inside cover using fabric. probably gonna be big enough so I'll just cut that off roughly here okay I just got this folded in half and I'm going to use Turn this upside down, then I can see better. Okay. So I'm putting this on the fold because I'm going to be cutting two separate pieces. smaller than the outside cover so I'm going to cut inside the pencil line so you can see I'm cutting in about about an eighth of an inch and I'm just sort of following the width of that scissor blade to help me determine where to cut Heard a weird noise. It's the, I thought it was the cat, and I thought, what are you getting into now?
And I'm just going to cut this, folded edge. Now, where's my fabric? Okay, let me pause while I figure out where I put my fabric. All right, that wasn't so hard. Now, I've turned this fabric upside down. And I'm going to use... Uh, glue stick and I'm going to glue the paper down to the fabric but I'm going to put it on a bias and the reason I'm doing this on a bias is because it, it's going to make it easier for me to do these rounded shapes um, at least that's my belief <laughs> We'll see how it really turns out. Um, so I'm just yeah, I had my pages picked out, and then when I got this fabric, and I thought, oh, I want it to be a lot more Victorian looking, and I suddenly realized that some of my choices for papers were kind of cutesy you know so uh i just wanted to rethink that okay so i want to make sure that i'm putting the glue on this side so that it's a different shape Today, it's Wednesday as I film this part. Um, it's first official day of fall. Fall started at some point today, I guess. And it's very fall-like. It's rain, rain, rain. It's cool. Like right around that 14, 15 degree mark. Which I believe in Fahrenheit is like 60. Okay. So I'm just going to leave this for a few minutes and just let this dry. And then I'll come back and I'll trim the outside. And I'll show you the next step. So here we are. So you've seen me do this a gazillion times. Again, just going to put a little bit of glue on the edge and then fold this down. Now, in order to get this, I'll probably have to cut a little bit. There. So I hope everybody's having a good week. Um, so far so good here. Again, this is rounded, so I'm just going to take a few snip snips.
looks like this is lifting up just a bit. Okay, this is an inside curve, so I don't need to clip um, triangles out. I just need to be able to spread this out a bit. So I'm just cutting a few little slashes. And then as we come around this toe, it's where the triangles start again. So am I kind of early to the Christmas game? Is anybody else working on Christmas yet? Come on, glue. Work with me. So here in Ontario, the um, in order to go to non-essential businesses like restaurants clubs, bars, gyms, that sort of thing. You now have to provide proof of uh, double vaccination at least 14 days prior to your visit. So I actually have a, um, a date <laughs> with a former colleague tomorrow for breakfast. So I uh, texted her today and uh, I said, we're still on for tomorrow. Yep, yep, we're still on for tomorrow. Okay, well, I better figure out how to download my passport. <laughs> so uh, apparently there's going to be an app coming out. But not for another month. So I'm just, I just had to download an image of the receipt of uh, showing that I have been double vaccinated. And... Um, provide uh, ID that I am who I say I am and it matches the name on my receipt. So I've done that. I'm all set. Should have thought to do this clipping. Before I glued down that edge. Oh well, I'll know better for the next one, won't I? Because I can learn from my mistakes.
there's that little job done. This will be the back inside cover. So let's kind of take a look at what that might look like. And with any luck, it's going to be perfect. Yes, yes, yes. It's too bad Santa's upside down. Oh, poor Santa. I wouldn't mind doing a little pocket here. Um, so maybe I'll find a little doily or a little motif or something that I can stitch here to use as a pocket. Or maybe something across there. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, that's going to be good. Good. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, but I won't make you watch that. So hold tight. All right, so that is done. I've actually stitched around the perimeter of the uh, inside cover. And I sort of, um, uh, what's the word? Auditioned a few doilies to make pockets. And to get them small enough to fit in that round area, they were too small really to use for a pocket. So I've got these little heart shaped ones and I thought those could fit right down in there. What do you think? So just going to add a little bit of glue. Uh, just around the outside. And once that glue dries, I will, I will stitch it because I don't want it to um, come away from the fabric. But it's easier to stitch lace when it's glued down rather than shifting all over the place. So that will make a little pocket. There we go. And now this one. <laughs> Cat's in here. I'm not sure what he wants, but he's up to no good, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. So, um, next video, I hope I have chosen the papers. <laughs> um, oh, I know, I wanted to show you these. These are th these tickets I got at uh, the, the antiques market on the weekend, and they are from the London and Port Stanley Railway. So this was uh, a short railroad that exists that ran between London and Port Stanley, driving right through my hometown. It didn't um, it didn't last for very many years uh, it, it it wasn't the booming industry that they thought it would uh, would be um, so it was discontinued so I have no idea how old these are it says commuters and family ticket agent stub not good for passage from station stamped on the back so the there's nothing on the back. So commuters and family ticket. So it was to go between stations. There was definitely one in St. Thomas, where I'm from. Um, 
yeah. So I thought that these were fun. And I could probably look up the general manager of McKillop to get a date of when these came from. And I didn't, I expected I was going to pay a lot more for these. And actually when I picked them up, I went to the vendor. I said, okay, I'm just going to close my eyes and pay up. What do you want? <laughs> and actually the price he quoted me was half of what I was expecting. So I was pretty impressed with that. I showed these to Doug this morning. I had forgotten all about them because I tucked them in my wallet and I showed them to Doug this morning. He's like, oh, those should be in a museum. Nah, they're going into a book, a junk journal. <laughs> so, you know, I could stick them right in there. Alrighty. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.